Hi, it's a wet and windy 4th of uh, June, uh, midway through the uh, Diamond Jubilee weekend. This is to catch up on some of the grafting I did last year. You'll recall I grafted over several trees here. Miller's Seedling, which wasn't working for us, I grafted some over to May Queen and some over to Baker's Delicious, because those were both varieties uh, of equal heritage value, but much more popular with our customers. This is a tree I grafted over, the Miller's Seedling, you can see here, if you want to close in here, Julie, you can see what happened. I sawed it back hard, sawed it back and then did some rind grafting. All of the graft, most of the grafts took, they've grown away, and now I'm doing some tidying up. Um, basically, they mainly consist of removing wood that uh, I don't want. Okay, so I like to use a knife when I can, a really sharp knife. This is my number 10 opinal. I, you can use a smaller one, but this is a little bit heavier. Make sure you be ever so careful to cut the right wood off. You can use the secateurs to do this, but I think you're going to need to cut with the with a knife. As you take care of it, always with knives. Um, what I'm doing here is just removing the wood I don't want. People often ask when is the best time to do this, uh, to which I say, well, when it looks like the about right time to do it anyway. And this is the sixth of June. I don't like. I'm very conscious of the fact that a lot of people are watching. Uh, and taking advice from me and acting on it. I don't like to give advice unless I'm really fairly confident that I do know what I'm talking about. So when I'm not sure, or when I'm doing it by rule of thumb, I do say so. I'm not saying this is dead right. Um, just looking down here carefully, what you do not want to do, because it will lead to tears and possibly curses, um, you, do not, you do not want to cut the, 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 the growing sign wood off. I'm just removing a bit of the, uh, uh, the polythene from last year. And this one again, just take that out. And I'm cut towards myself here, let's be careful. Alright, so now this is all nice, clean, growing away. And if you close in here, Julia, you'll see that we've actually got some fruit that has set, which is quite astounding. Obviously I'm going to remove all of that because the, the union takes a couple of years to really become strong. And we don't want any fruit this year, the weight of it will could be a problem. Now, one or two friends who've been doing some grafting out there have said that they've had unions break um, with strong winds. Now that can be an issue. Uh, use your own judgment. You might need to do a bit of splinting with some bamboo. Let's just move to the next tree and just do the same thing again. This is, a, this is also a say, uh, May Queen. By the way, you should not have grass growing up to the root of the tree like this, it's not good. We were going to uh, spray some weed killer this morning, but it's too windy, so we're not going to. Again, down here, come look down here, Julia. You see, by the way, there's some nasty, um, there's some nasty leaf curling aphid here. Oh, sorry, wrong. I've seen some earlier. Um, <laughs> oh, well, error of judgment. Oh, yes, there they are. I knew there'd be some because the way the leaves are killing the ants and them. Anyway, so down here, just snicking these out. Uh, a really sharp knife, uh, I think, does this better than the secateurs. But do be careful, obviously. Um, close down here. Don't cut yourself, and of course, with a knife, um, you want to be careful because when you go, when it goes through the bit that you're cutting, it can go through it further and cut something you didn't want to cut. More than once, I'm sorry to say, I have, uh, I've been doing this job, I've managed to cut what I didn't want to cut. Now this, uh, this is not actually, this bit here, this, this, this branch here, this is actually of the stock, not the scion, but it's in a good balanced place. I was going to graft another scion onto this. I should have done it this year, I forgot or else I might have not had enough cyan wood left. Not a problem, I'll cut this back next year, but I will actually just remove this. Um, what, I'll, what I'll probably do is bud this. I'll probably put a bud onto this later. Anyway, just finish the work here. Um, carefully work my way through. Close in. See, that's two, that's a double rind graft there that was been done, that's took quite nicely. And again, just going to uh, we'll come around, come around and close in, see what, see what I'm doing. Just sticking out the, uh, 
we've still got a few fruits in here. Just snicking them out. Ordinarily you wouldn't get fruit buds forming on the wood that grew in a single year. But obviously it has happened in this case, which is interesting. Judgment call here, I think I'm going to take this out. Too thick for the knife. Just double check, yeah. Too thick for the knife. Need secateurs to do that. Uh, obviously I'll clear that up later. This is my other opener, which happens to be in the pocket a little. Uh, number eight, which is um, a very sharp, I like little knives, little very sharp knives. Um, I've got quite a range of these, as people know. Um, yeah, secateurs, secateurs. Where's my shacks? Uh, I think this is important. These trees haven't been sprayed yet, have they, Julia? No. I'm going to close in there. Rosy apple aphid. I think it should be renamed the Devil's Piss aphid. Uh, because that, look, look what it does. It's a nasty aphid. It shouldn't have a nice name. Uh, I would take that whole growing shoot off now because it's not going to come it's, it's to It's destroyed, anything. isn't it? It's yeah. not going to come to anything now. And the, yeah, and you the see the ants introducing them. Apple one behind it. Yeah, I know somebody's going to uh, uh, so respond and say, why don't you put um, grease bands to stop the um, uh, to stop the um, ants climbing up? Uh, to which I reply, yeah, that's a good idea. It would probably work. Um, just I have this daytime job. And, well, uh, you have to top the grease up about once a week because it gets debris and dust on it, and then the ants can yeah. cross it. I mean, it. It's a very good solution for the person with three or four trees in their back garden. Um, it's not a good solution for us. Uh, the, uh, grease bands are good and they will stop ants climbing and introducing aphids. Um, these are, they are a very destructive pest, the uh, so-called rosy apple aphid uh, is one of the, what I call the hundred percenters. It's one of the pests which all by itself, without any help from any other pests, is capable of destroying hundred percent of your crop. Uh, all right then. Okay, you can see what I've done there. Uh, there's a lot of uh, wood on the ground. Obviously it makes sense at some stage to remove the newly growing shoots uh, which are coming from the stock because we want to prioritise the growth of the scion. So again, this is the second year. Um, you can see I butted in here, grafted in. A little pencil there, about as long as my finger. A little pencil, that's what's grown away from it. Um, this year, so I would hope that those will continue to grow very vigorously and next year, just in uh, in two years, two stroke three years, uh, well in the third season shall we say, this is the second season, in the third season after top working over a tree like this you should be able to get a crop, as you can see this has tried to crop this year but we're not letting it. Okay thanks for me, I'll do some more work.